Word games are certainly not my favorite genre of games, and so when I heard about Wordorific, I wasn't too excited about it. Plus, the game looks like that. And with that look, with that title, and it being a word game, I had very, very uh, low hope going into this one. Is it better than my expectations? Let's find out. To set up the game, you're going to shuffle up all these cards. You're going to give every player 11 cards. There's a, a game here with five players. And then you're pretty much ready to go. You're going to put all the chips here in the center, the die as well. The objective of the game is to come up with words as quickly as possible. Convince the judge of the round, whoever that is, that your word is the best to fit the category for the round. These are going to be divvied up, and whoever has the most of these chips when they run out, which is the end of the game, will be the winner. All right, so each round goes like this. We take a card, we flip it. It has a bank of words, just like the ones in our hands. While it's in your hand, you can ignore the bank of words. You just need to look at the letter. When you flip one here, you will flip, you will roll, and it will give you a number. In this case, overflow, or whatever, oak, observe, occupation, whatever. So then you take your hand, and you try to come up with something as quickly as possible that matches the category, that you can that you can somehow make a bridge to. You know, sometimes it's really stretched thin, and, and that's part of the humor of the game. And so overflow, um, I might be able to come up with uh, tipped, oh, tied, how about tied? So I'll do this as quickly as possible. Once I've got something, I'll say, word and slam it down on the table. Everybody's going to do that but one person, the slowest person. And then, let's say this is the slowest person, they say, all right, fine. Then going around the circle, you flip your word and you make your case for how you can tie it to overflow. Everyone's going to do that. Once that's done, whoever made the longest word gets one chip. So, so let's say the longest word was over here. And then whoever has the word that gets voted as the best by that player gets three. And so let's say Tide was the best word. I'll get three for that. You discard all the cards you used. You replenish your hand. You continue playing until these are gone, like I said. The only other option on your turn is you can choose not to play a word and simply say, okay, I'm discarding and get rid of as many as you want to and draw back up to 11. That's pretty much the game. Run these out, have the most at the end of the game, and you're the winner. So, did I like this one? Well, the first thing I'll say is, uh, as I said in the intro, this game is extremely ugly. Your game needs to be attractive so that it will attract people. That's what the word means, so that you can sell it. This, sitting on a shelf, is not getting picked up by anyone. This looks horrific. It looks like a boring educational game about, I don't know, gluing letters onto the wall or something. This is horrible. The cards are ugly, the box is ugly, so sadly, you gotta put up with that. But the game itself, yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. For a party style word game, I liked this one. It's, um, like I said, not a genre I'm really into, but if I'm gonna play a word game, this might be it. You know, I, I like that it's quick, I like that it's um, it's sort of low tension. You can sort of chill and go with it. That once you've once you've played your word and you try to convince someone of that your word ties into whatever the category is, you can have some laughs there. You can make fun of people for really stretching, yeah, the definitions of words or the the connection there. So I like it. I I played with some people that did not enjoy the game as much. And I can understand why, and I know there were some people thought that the um, the fact that someone, the slowest player basically each round, picks who they give chips to, could turn into a kingmaker scenario where if someone else has more chips than I do right now, well guess what, your word was not the best word. But, and I agree with that, that's true, you could do that. 
but ultimately that is against the spirit of the game, in my opinion, and I think you simply just, you just don't do that, you know? Just play the game, have fun with it, enjoy that it's a silly party-style card game that takes just a few minutes, and uh, I think you'll get out of it what you put into it. So, word horrific, bad name, awful cover, but a pretty good word speed party game. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.